Hi, hi guys. This is uh, Red Fox, and uh, today I'm going to show you that um, with a VCDS, you can get inside your ECU and your comfort module on your 2009 uh, Volkswagen Passat and change the settings so that your remote control can roll your windows up and roll them down uh, along with your moonroof. And so uh, let me show you how to do it. Okay, so here's where the uh, VCDS cable has to be connected on the Passat. And uh, you can see uh, that uh, here it is, right there. That's what the port looks like underneath. And we just have to be plugged into here like so. Okay, with the key in the ignition and uh, all the lights on, but the engine not running, and with the VCDS software loaded, um, we're gonna select the control module screen and we're gonna go to the comfort and convenience and we're gonna go to 46 central convenience and hopefully this will connect up. And then we're gonna go over to the coding, uh, advanced functions coding dash zero seven and um, this number right here, this long number, whatever this is, you need to write this number down for this module and keep this, okay? Because this is all your factory settings and um, every single car could possibly have different settings in here um, from the manufacturer and or from the dealer that they might have changed. So you want to keep this number and write it down in case you have to retype any of these back in to fix it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the long code helper. And I'm gonna see what we have in here. Now I've already actually changed these settings and know they work, but um, what we wanna look at is um, under byte six. So the sixth byte in here, one, two, three, four, six, right? Oops, looking hard to do here. Okay, under byte six, um, what was set in here before was that the uh, sunroof and power windows um, where this, this was clicked inactive right here. So the remote control was clicked to inactive so that the, win the sunroof and the windows wouldn't open. So I unchecked this. And I also did check this too, um, comfort function automatic closing. This is if you, I believe if you hold down your arm button on your remote just enough to get the windows and the moonroof to start to close, um, you can let go and they'll continue to close all the rest of the way. So that's something you might be interested in. And let's see, what else do we have here? So that was in byte six and then, um, Let's see, byte six, bit six, six had two e bit five. Okay, so let's go on. So the next thing was is that I had to do was I went through here and looked in here under um, byte seven. Let's see, it says byte seven. Um, you can see what I've selected in here, but what I did was I checked bit two and bit five. And you can see it says uh, comfort opening power windows via remote control active. So I activated that. And then bit five, comfort closing power window via remote control active. Okay, I checked that off as well. And then I went into byte eight and I selected bit two and bit five again. And I, you know, I don't know, I don't know exactly what modules are using some of these bits, but, um, you know, this is pretty much, I think, almost the same. It's a lot of the same settings as on the previous byte. But um, again, uh, bit two and bit five I checked off. And then when I went to um, close it out, you know, it, what it'll do is the VCD, VCDS will show you the current coding, whatever it is, and then it'll show you the new coding with the uh, changes that you just made and you have to tell it to do it. When you tell it to do it, 
on my module it came up and said that uh, that the module had never been initialized and it asked me um, if I wanted to try default values it was like I think it was like yes try default values no try uh, values uh, contained within the module um, or I think cancel to quit or exit and so I chose uh, yes to use the default values and the programming was accepted and it was a success and now um, I'll show you that uh, what the uh, remote does okay so um, I just got done changing the uh, code values the long code values um, on my 2009 Passat and now let's uh, test it out okay so um, here is the uh, disarm button I'm gonna go ahead and hold the disarm button down and let's see what happens All right, there we go. Got to hold it pretty well. Okay, so obviously the window's opened. I'm gonna hold it again. I don't think the moonroof will open. I don't think it'll allow that. Okay. All right. So now, um, if we wanted to uh, roll the windows up based on the settings that we just did, we should be able to hold the button down, and once it starts, we can get the. Uh, once the windows start to go up, we should be able to let go, and then the windows continue. To close. Now, let me go and uh, open the uh, moonroof and let's try the close function again. Okay, so now you can see the windows are down and the moonroof is open. And I'm going to go ahead and initiate a auto close. <laughs> Hold the button down, and looks like you know what? It looks like you do have to push it a second time. Okay, once it starts, I let go. Windows are still rolling up. And there goes the moonroof. Very good. Pretty cool, huh? Considering it's free. If you have, know somebody that has a VCDS. <laughs>